Welcome to this overview tutorial where we will introduce Insight, your asset management in Jira. In this video, we will focus on how the end user can use Insight, talk about the main concepts and how they relate to each other. When getting started with Insight, it's important to know what assets you want to manage and how you want to model your data. An object schema is a database which serves as a container for different kinds of assets. A schema contains different tables for each object type, and each of these tables contain columns that indicate the different kinds of information collected for each object inside that table. For instance, we could have a schema called ITSM, which contains tables for computers, software, users, and locations, one table for each object type. Within these tables are objects like Mac, Keynote, Sandra, and Iceland, and these objects can be referenced in other objects. Like in this case, we have a reference from computers to users, from software to computers, and from users to locations. The way we structure the object types and their relationships is something that the Insight Administrator configures during installation. It's common to have a few schemas to store different types of assets. So let's take a better look at an object schema to learn more. To access Insight, you select Insight from the main menu and then Object Schemas to go to the overview page of all schemas, which is the first view we are going to talk about. In this view, you have an overview of all the schemas you have access to as a user. In this example, we have two different schemas. The HR schema is storing HR-related data, such as employees, departments, employee roles, etc. And the ITSM schema is storing IT asset information, such as hosts, computers, and business services. On this overview page, we see information about all schemas, that is, when they were created and how many object types and objects they have. In our case, we are going to take a look at the ITSM schema. When in a schema, we have object types on the left-hand side of the screen and objects on the right-hand side. In this example, we see an object type for business services which has several reference object types, including business importance and category that you can see nested under the business services object type. As an end user, you can view this hierarchy both as a folder view like we have here and as a graph by clicking on the graph button for the object type, which can help when investigating a related Jira issue. As an end user, we can navigate around the object types and objects. By clicking on the object type we want to view, we see a list of all objects of that selected object type. In the object view, there's a lot of information, both created by the system and by us as users. We can, for example, view and add comments to the object, view the history of the object, view all inbound references, and see linked Jira issues. Now that you're more familiar with navigating Insight and its key concept, take a look at the other tutorials in this series to see how these concepts are put into action.